Good evening viewers and welcome to Health Matters. This is a program that is being supported by the Health Transition Fund in collaboration with the Ministry of Health and Child Care. The Health Transition Fund is a multi-donor supported fund which is aimed at supporting the national health strategy. Every week we bring on board different experts that come and speak about different topics relating to maternal, newborn and child health issues affecting people in this country. Cervical cancer accounts for one-third of all cancer cases in Zimbabwe and is the leading cause of cancer death among Zimbabwean women. In recent years, there has been an alarming increase in the number of women who have been diagnosed. Normally, a woman is screened for cervical cancer through a pap smear test. This procedure is expensive and available to only a small portion of the population. In order to make cervical cancer screening available to all Zimbabweans, the visual inspection with acetic acid, VIAC, was introduced in Zimbabwe in 2013. It has made screening for cervical cancer faster and widely accessible to women in both urban and rural settings. VIAC involves examining the opening of the womb or the cervix for changes that might lead to cancer. If these changes are detected early, the cells can be eliminated before they become cancerous. After, the, after we take the woman's history, she lies on the bed. Then we open a VIAC pack. The, the thing they said to be sterile, we uh, insert um, a speculum into the woman's vagina so that we visualize the, the cervix. After that, we use uh, acetic acid, the uh, 3%. Then we put cotton wool swab in the vinegar. We take that swab, that wet swab, and put it on the, uh, on the cervix for about three minutes. If there's anything on the woman's cervix, anything the sense of uh, pre cancerous cells, they'll be actually coming out. Then we take the camera, which is connected to the TV, so that the woman will visualize a uh, cervix on the TV. We take that picture of the cervix, and then we actually see the picture with the woman, uh, with, with if there is anything. Gweru Provincial Hospital currently screens up to 250 women a month at its VX center. At Gweru Hospital, we started uh, screening for cervical cancer on the 7th of January last year, and from there to date we've screened about 3,450 women, and uh, as of last year, Last year we screened about 3,000 women, and of those 3,000, about 50, 55 had, uh, were suspicious of cancer. Meanwhile, in Nembudzia, the Gokwe North District Hospital has already screened 74 women this year. In terms of VIAC screening at Gokwe North District Hospital, we have, since January, we have 74 who has been screened, and of those 74, we have six who are positive, and two were suspicious of cancer. Should a woman's cervix present with abnormal cells, a woman is referred to the gynecology ward for further treatment. We refer the patient to say that to to Warari for cryotherapy and for lip. We don't we don't do the procedures here. Cryotherapy this is a method which is used to cure the precancerous cells using nitrous oxide. It's a gas and it freezes the cells and the way of as time goes on. Cervical cancer is caused by the human papilloma virus, which is a sexually transmitted infection. The HPV virus is responsible for 98% of all cervical cancers in Zimbabwe, but carriers rarely present any symptoms of illness and could go for years without knowing they are carrying the disease. Last year, the government launched the HPV vaccine in hope of preventing cervical cancer in women. The correlation between the rise of cervical cancer and the HIV virus should be noted. Studies have shown that there is an increased risk of pre-invasive cervical lesions among HIV-positive women. Thank you for watching today's episode of Health Matters. We hope that you enjoyed the program. Join us again same time next week as we bring other experts to come and speak about health issues affecting women and children in this country. Pleasant viewing and good night.